blind reacting, boys. YouTube, this is a blind react. I have not seen anything in this box yet, uh, except that it's mini <laughs> Lord of Borel. So I know, we, I know we got the Linky Boy, not Savage, but the other one at least. So let's get into it. Uh, I know there was also the the event stuff that Kamel covered yesterday. Uh, I read a little bit of that, but I've not seen the actual mini box yet. So let's get into it, boys. What do we got here? Lord of Borel. Or load of Bor Lord or Lord? Lord of Borel. Borlo Dragon. Oh, baby. Here we go. Three effect monsters. Link four monsters. So this means you still have to have Link four, uh, but you have to have a minimum of three effect monsters. So this is just telling you, for people that aren't familiar with Link's, um, that if you have a Link 2 monster, then yes, you could do three monsters, but if you're just doing it raw monster style, you're going to need four monsters. There you go. Uh, neither player can target this card with monster effects. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face-up monster opponent controls, loses 500 attack defense, whatever. Your opponent cannot activate uh, cards or effects in response to this card's activation. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks an opponent's monster. You can place that opponent's monster in a zone this card points to and take control of it, but send it to the graveyard during the end phase of the next turn. So, I remember when I first started playing TCG, getting ready for... Um, Getting ready for Master Duel, everyone was playing this card <laughs> as a uh, as a as just a generic Link monster, Link Four monster. So I have no doubts that we'll this will see play in Duel Links um, because of the card place or the arrow placements. You'll only be able to steal one monster at a time, but usually it's only one monster anyway at a time. Um, and usually this card will be pushing for lethal. Um, we don't have access code talker and dual links. This is probably going to kind of take its place uh, to kind of end games. So it'll be interesting to see how much this 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 impacts the meta. But I think it'll be huge. So there you go. Powerful cards. We got some already starting off pretty good. Ooh, we're getting Tiramisu. Madolce. Madolce fans rise up. Two level four Madolce monsters. This is a really strong card. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz monster from this card. Target two Madolce cards in your graveyard. Shuffle those cards into the deck. Also, after that, shuffle cards in your shuffle cards your opponent controls into the deck up to the number of Madolce cards that were returned. That is non-targeting. That just straight up says uh, <laughs> that you you only are targeting your cards in the graveyard, and then that's it. So your opponent doesn't know what cards you're returning until it's already too late. You know, the, the cards, the, 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 they, they can only activate their effects once you've selected the Madolce cards in your graveyard. After that, boom, it's back into the uh, the deck without them being able to do anything. That is very, very powerful uh, in Duel Links. Madolce has been waiting for this card forever. So we'll see how... We'll see. Well, I think I was. I see some other support they're getting here. Uh, this this might make Madolce meta. So we'll be. It'll be very interesting. It'll be very interesting. Let's see. Fuse line. When this card sent to the grave, target one card in the field in this card's column. Destroy it. Uh, as a UR, that's interesting. This is supposed to stop kind of MST. Um, but I, I don't. I don't think this will be too impactful as a UR. Maybe as like a rare or something. It would have done something, but. You know, if you get MST'd, obviously you pop a card. Um, could have been really strong, but most people are getting used to playing around columns, so I don't think anyone's going to play into this necessarily. Um, although I guess, I guess you could MST your own card. That's that's fair, but that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot to set and then and then and then fucking MST your own shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. Cybers magician ritual cybers. What the. You can ritual summon with a sign net ritual. Any damage you take is halved. Uh, while you control... Oh, is it any damage straight up you take is half? Okay, just straight up. Okay, any damage you take is half. While you control a link monster, uh, your opponent cannot target monsters you control for attack except this one. Also, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects except this one. If this card battles a link monster, it gains 1,000 attack during damage calc. Uh, if... If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Cybers monster from your deck to your hand. Very interesting. Uh, Crackling Dragon uh, cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster with equal to or lower level. When your opponent normal or special summons exactly one monster and no other monsters that are summoned while this card is on the field, you can make that monster lose attack equal to its level times 200. 
And if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack lost by this effect. All right, getting some more. Uh, they're 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 trying to make rockets OP. Okay, I see. Here we go, Rocket Tracer. If you played Master Duel, you know this card. Quick effect: you can target one face-up card you control, destroy it. And if you do, special summon one Rocket Monster from your deck, except Rocket Tracer. Uh, also, you cannot special summon cards from your extra deck for the rest of the turn, except Dark Monsters. You can only use this effect once per turn. Ooh, Summoner Monk. While this card's face in the field, it cannot be tributed. If this card's normal or flip summon, change this card to defense position. Once per turn, you can discard one spell, special summon one level four monster from your deck, but that monster cannot attack this turn. Uh, obviously, you bring out, you can link, you can XCs. You know, if it's a tutor, you could synchro summon. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if, if, if any combo decks or anything pick that up. Very interesting. Um... Quick launch. Special summon one rocket monster from your deck, but it cannot attack. Also destroy it during the end phase. Let's go rockets. Uh, Medolce Pudding Chocolate a la Mode. You can also XC summon this using a rank 4 or lower Medolce XC's monster you control as a material. Transferring some materials from this card. Once per turn, you can target one Medolce card in your graveyard. Shuffle it into the deck. Uh, while this card has Medolce Pudding Princess as a material, uh, one Medolce monster in your graveyard shuffled into the main deck. Except during the damage step, you can detach one material from this card. Special summon one Medolce monster from your deck in attack position or defense. And I think we're also getting, yes we are, uh, the glass, glassful, glassful, quick effect, detach one material from this card, then target one Medolce monster in the, uh, on the field this turn, that face up, uh, monster is unaffected by monster effects except its own, so you could protect yourself as a quick effect. Uh, if a Medolce card is sent to your graveyard while this card's on the field, uh, you can shovel up to two cards, uh, from the graveyard into the decks, you can only use each effect once per turn. These are a lot of, uh, fucking Medolce support. <laughs> it also seems it seems pretty fucking good dude i don't know man i feel like i feel like madolce's in a really good spot just from these three xc's monsters so we'll have to see what madolce does because i don't remember all the other uh cards they had before um but i i i know at the very least they can turbo out these sr cards we'll see how easily they can make tiramisu so it could be very interesting how they go Oh, they're giving us Vendred support? This is so random. A Vendred Savior. This card becomes Revendred Slayer while on the field. You can only use the effect once per turn. You can target a Vendred card in your graveyard, add it to your hand, so you can add back your ritual cards. Um, and then during damage calc, when this card battles an opponent's monster, as a quick effect, you can send a zombie from your deck to the graveyard. Um, most zombie decks in Master Duel use just the second effect, but using the first effect is actually going to be pretty nice uh for vindrids specifically uh because you can you can literally summon this guy link to summon this guy you get your vindrid effects and then you can target your vindrid ritual spell and then just ritual summon again the card from the graveyard if you wanted to um so that's pretty good this is pretty good a vindrid savior is pretty good vindrids actually funny enough uh have been pretty decent with links coming out in general because you have an easier way to pop their effects um and this is just now their preferred link monster that they'll be able to play uh, i still think consistency is a huge issue so you know and the second effect is kind of useless unfortunately uh it's definitely more of a in in tcg and master duel um you know, you would make this monster, you would swing, and then in main phase two, you would set up your entire zombie board, and this card would be really strong for doing that, but obviously we don't have main phase two, so the second effect is kind of useless in dual links. Um, but I will definitely pick up Avenger and Savior on my main account, and uh, maybe I'll do a Vendred video, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I think this card is very awesome, I've been waiting for this card for a while, so there you go. Neftis, the Sacred Preserver. What the hell? Two Neftis mods. Who, who even plays this deck? Uh, you can only use this effect once per turn during, or what? the following effect once per turn. During the main phase, if this card is Link Summoned, you can activate one of these effects. Add a level 8 Winged Beast monster from your deck to your hand. Then you can add a Ritual Spell from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, destroy a monster this Neftis monster this card points to and special summon one Neftis monster from a different original name from your grave, but negate its effects. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. That's a really old archetype. I don't know if that's going to do anything at this point. Cyber Switch. If a monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, you can, ban you can banish one spell from your grave, add a Cyber Ritual monster or one Cyanet Ritual. 
They're really pushing the Cybers rituals. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do a whole lot. Uh, during your main phase, the cards are activated this turn. Target one level four or lower Cybers monster in your grave. You're supposed to summon it. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if the Cybers are going to do too much. We'll have to look into it deeper. We're getting Gateway Dragon. If your opponent controls a link, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, you can only special summon once per turn. You can special summon level, level four or lower Dark uh, Dragon. Uh, when a link monster's effect's activated, quick effect, you can destroy this card, then destroy all monsters your opponent in that column. During the end phase, this card in the graveyard, because it was destroyed, instead of this turn, you can special summon one Rocket Monster. Pretty cool. Uh, gravi gravitic Ord, gravitic, gravitic, what a word. Orb, uh, flip, change the battle position uh, of your opponent's monsters. These are the rare cards, so we're not too interested in these. When a link monster's effect is activated, the target's face-up card, destroy this card, destroy one monster in the field. Uh, this card's end. If you do destroy any monsters, your opponent in adjacent during the end phase, this card's a graveyard because destroy the field. You can switch someone one rocket. Okay. Fire Prison, all dragon monsters in the field gain 300 defense. If this link, if a link monster on the field, neither player, or if any link monsters in the field, neither player can link summon a link monster with lower link rating than the highest rating. Ooh. Monsters cannot attack except link monsters. Apply the following effects while two or more Cybers links are in the field. Negate the activated effects of Cybers monsters. Cybers monsters cannot attack, cannot be targeted by attacks, and cannot be targeted by card effects. Jesus. <laughs> Defrag Dragon. You can only special summon this card from your hand by sending one other monster from your hand to the graveyard. You can only special summon once per turn this way. Uh, you can banish three monsters from your graveyard except Defrag Dragon. Special summon this card. Uh, hibernation. If this card is normal or special, you can target. These are all just like the, the rocket monsters so you can link up into your bigger monsters. Uh, except this turn. So the graveyard, you can this card from your graveyard. Target one dark dragon link from your grave. Special summon it. Uh, boot Sector Launch, it, we know this from Master Duel as well, is really, really good. All rockets in the field gain 300 attack and defense. You can only activate uh, one of these effects. Uh, special summon up to two rocket monsters with different names from your hand in defense position. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special summon rocket monsters with different names from your graveyard in defense position up to the difference. You can only use the effect once per turn. Uh... Dillinjurious Dragon? Jesus. Once per turn during your opponent's end phase, you can target one attack monster your opponent controls. Uh, that did not declare an attack this turn, destroy it. And if you do inflict damage to your opponent, equal to its original attack. If a rocket monster is special summoned to the field while this card's in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves. Baba Barber, what the? At the start of the battle phase, you can target this card or one mo a monster your, this card points to. Banish it until the end phase. Overflow Dragon, when a monster in the field is destroyed by card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then two or more monsters in the field destroyed by this card effect, you can special summon one overflow token. Boreload Supplier. Uh, during each standby, you control a Boreload Link Monster. You can target one Rocket Monster in your graveyard. Special Summon it. Link Burst. Target one Link Monster you control. One monster your opponent controls. Destroy them. Then draw one card. You can only activate once per turn. Not a quick effect. Just a uh, regular old spell. And then a whole lot of normal cards that probably don't matter. I'm sure chat will tell me if they matter. So, what are we thinking about this box? Well... Obviously, they're pushing rockets really, really hard. Uh, I think there's actually... Ooh, wait. There's... Ooh, hold on. Wait. There's a little bit more. Topographic Bomber Dragon. This card's limited to one uh, in the bundle. So we've got our bundle coming out. Uh, if another monster is special summoned to a, a zone, a link monster points to while this card's in the field, destroy all monsters in the main monster zone. Also... Uh, other monsters cannot attack for the rest of the turn. After damage calc, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to this monster's original attack. Okay, cool. And then leak cards are usually... Um, end up either being NPC cards or drop cards. So there's Cat World, Cat Girl or Stray Cat, gain attack to its original attack, irrelevant. Mirror Force launcher once per turn during the main phase. You can discard one monster, add one Mirror Force. Uh, this helps you search the Mirror Force cards. Um... Sniffer Dragon, uh, Magna Rocket Dragon as well coming out. We'll see if they get officially announced or are as drops or if they're just NPC cards. Then we'll worry about them. Uh, oh, and there's a whole bunch of skills. Oh, my lordy. Are these skills completely new, chat, or have these already been released with the, um, with the, uh, the other post? These are new. All right, we can read over these real quick. What do we got here? 
Uh, Master of Rights level duplication. No, these are old, right? Uh, didn't we already talk about the level reduction? These are the these are the leaked skills, right? We already talked about these on the YouTube channel. I believe we already talked about these. I remember the the Master of Rights level duplication one. People were talking about. These are all now confirmed. These were all leaked before, and now they're just confirmed. So nothing too crazy uh, to really talk about. I think we've already talked about these. So there you go. But as far as the box goes, opinions on the box. Uh, holy shit. I think this box is pretty fucking good. <laughs> I think they're really pushing for rockets to be very strong, uh, especially with the uh, released character and the skills that were leaked and everything. And just all these cards that they're giving us is really good. Just Borload as a generic monster, I think is going to be pretty fucking good. Uh, and then Medolce definitely has the power. Someone brought up the issue of consistency, which for sure, for sure. Um, but the power is definitely there. We'll just have to see how consistent the deck is um, at getting these cards out. I think they'll be able to do it, no problem. These, these monsters are really easy to get into for the deck. Uh, Vindrids, I'm, I'm excited for a Vindrid Savior. Uh, I like that card a lot, so I like Vindrids in general a lot, so I'm very excited to see how that goes. Um, and that's really all I have. I, I, I think this box is going to be fucking awesome, so there you go. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think about this box. Are you going into it? Because I sure fucking am. And that's it. Thank you guys. Peace out. Till next time.